Hi, I'm Mary Earl. I'm Katie Heldros. And this is One Pan Desserts. So today I am in Johnson & Wales. I'm at my culinary school. And today we're making chocolate chip scones. And how we came up with this recipe was we found it on Google. So you can just type it in and you get it right away. So the ingredients you're going to need is bisquick or some kind of flour, but this is the fastest way. You're going to need sugar. You're going to need cream or milk. And if you want chocolate chips, you're going to need chocolate chips. You're going to need vanilla. And you're going to need, that's, that's about it. <laughs> We're also going to put an icing on top of our chocolate chip scones. So for that, if you want to copy us, we just use powdered sugar and more milk or heavy whipping cream. Another thing I want to add is that if you want to change your flavor of scone, you can use lemon zest, you can use orange, you can use blueberries, cinnamon, anything cherries, you want. Cherries, anything. even dried cranberries is a big one. So whatever you want. So go ahead, Kate. Okay, well, I already have two cups of Bisquick in here and then three tablespoons of sugar. Then you add a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream in there. And then after that, you add your half a cup of chocolate chips. I like to add extras because chocolate's yummy. <laughs> then you add a tablespoon, teaspoon of vanilla. And then you add an egg after this. Can you crack that for me, Mary? Yeah. And with this recipe, the measurements for it, or I'm sorry, not the measurements, the temperature for it is 425? Yes. 425 on your oven, have it preheating, and this does not take very much to mix. And Kate is going to mix with her hands, if you want. Yeah, just because it's, it's a lot easier, so don't be afraid to get dirty. Yeah. It's, it's perfectly fine. Our teachers always make us mix with hands because you can always feel the texture of the dough. And with this, with the Bisquick, it's going to look dry at first. So can I actually see it? Go ahead and put it to the camera. I know, it's weird. It's going to look dry at first, um, but as you knead it more and mix it more, and it comes together as a dough, it'll look much better. Is it going? <laughs> okay. It's going to be tough at first, but if it's really that doughy, then what you can do is add a little milk so that it comes together faster. Are you okay, though? Yeah, this is fine. So, it just takes a while, but... Yeah, and it likes to stick to your fingers. It's like, yep. So, if you want, get your kids to do it, since they like to get dirty, or if you want to teach your son or boyfriend or whoever to cook. Mm -hmm. And I actually forgot to introduce my friend, my friend Brianna, even though she doesn't want to be introduced. Brianna is from North Carolina, and I'm going to turn the camera. Here she is. That's Brianna Brown. She's one. She's also in baking and pastry. We all are baking and pastry. Mm -hmm. Here are uniforms that we have to wear. I unfortunately have do not have my apron. Go ahead, show off your apron, and I'll leave oh. for you. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Miss Bailey Drew made this apron for me for Christmas last year. It's zebra print, has a K on it, and the cupcake. Just because I really like zebra print, and it's pretty awesome. Tell them where you're from. I am from a teeny tiny town in Iowa, known as Cumming, Iowa. It's a pretty fabulous town. My whole family lives around there. And also, hi, Mom and Dad, if you actually watch this, and Nicole, and all my cousins and my aunts, if you guys watch this. I swear I'm not doing anything bad at college. I promise. <laughs> so, okay. Up, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so, when they're finally cooked out of the oven, this is what they're going to look like. They're going to look light brown. We actually, it says the time is 12 minutes. We actually cook them a, like for almost 15 minutes. 15 minutes. They're going to look white at first, and I kind of started freaking out, but then they'll turn light brown. So after this, you get a sheet pan. You can add foil. You can add anything. We're cheap college students, so we use cooking spray. Walmart brand cooking spray. <laughs> spray the pan and just portion it out. So what you can do is you can portion it out into small balls, or we just use a, a fourth of a cup, and we just fill the fourth of a cup, and we just round it out. Now you want to make sure you kind of squish them down, or else they won't fully cook in the middle. But 
the ones that we made previously came out fantastic. So it's really, so it's really good. So yeah, after you portion it out evenly, then you're going to put it in the oven at 425 for about 13 to 15 minutes, no matter if you're in a different altitude or not. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Bye.